The latest Android 13 public preview has now arrived with a number of new tweaks, a little tune in and some extras thrown in. To better work out just what you need to know though, we've gone hands on with Android 13 Beta 3 and these are some of the top new features. Our Android 13 beta coverage is brought to you by Phoenix, the minimal, lightweight, razor thin case designed to enhance the look and feel of your phone without adding any extra bulk. Phoenix makes cases for those that want to show off their phone while still keeping it protected. You won't even notice the case is on until it falls to the ground and you notice it's done its job. There's a protective bumper surrounding the camera so that when you set down your phone or even drop it, the camera itself will be protected from scuffs and scrapes and now to celebrate the launch of the brand new navy blue case for Pixel 6 and 6 Pro, you can get 20% off the entire lineup with code 95Google at phoenix.shop or via the link in the description. Instead of hiding your phone in a thick rubber case, don't be a fat pocket freddy and try a Phoenix case for yourself. So while this is not exactly or technically user facing, it will affect most Pixel and Android owners in the coming months when Android 13 does arrive in a stable fashion. Platform stability has arrived with Android 13 Beta 3. This means it's include, or it includes finalized system behaviors and APIs. And effectively, this means that the Android app developers out there can now start final compatibility testing for apps, SDKs, and libraries. What's more, more apps will now start hitting the alpha and beta channels in, on the Play Store in preparation for this stable Android 13 release. So while you might not initially notice anything, you may start to see more apps utilize some of the core functions previously added throughout the Android 13 developer preview and the beta process. One major frustration in the previous Android 13 beta was the removal of the universal device search. In beta 3 though, this is now back and it is fully functional. That's not all though, as this now even includes some neat tricks such as the ability to search the web for any of your queries, as well as actually scouring all of your on-device storage on top of that. There are a number of other neat new additions here that might help you, as you can actually quickly search on a number of pre-installed apps right from the Pixel Launcher search bar. Enter a query, and you can choose an individual action, such as searching Google, YouTube, Google Maps, the Play Store, or even your on-device settings. And this could certainly save time as you won't need to open each of these apps individually and jump into a search bar or find a search field to scour those individual applications. Another major bonus here is that the fingerprint setup or enrollment UI has been slightly adjusted in beta 3 to better accommodate devices within display scanners. Of course, at present, that means it's just limited to the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro, but this change has likely been implemented to ensure that the upcoming Pixel 6a and Pixel 7 series will have more seamless biometric registration processes as that trio of hardware will come within Display Scanner 2. So this means that when adding a new fingerprint with Android 13 Beta 3, you'll get more obvious visual cues to help you better register your finger and add the extremities or edges of those. In currently in Android 12, a text prompt alongside guide brackets are used on screen, which are actually not entirely visible when pressing your finger to the scanner. Making this change to the fingerprint enrollment section within Android 13 could have major benefits for the upcoming Pixel 7 series, but it could also help those with problems currently with their existing Pixel 6 series handset and maybe ensure better unlock times when using this new method. Unfortunately though, it is too early to tell if it will help those currently or continually suffering fingerprint issues with the Pixel 6 series, but it is a better UI overall. Although a minor cosmetic change, the gesture navigation bar in Android 13 Beta 3 has also been updated to be subtly bolder and more prominent than it has been previously. This is actually the first change to the nav bar since it was first introduced back in Android 10. The previous three button and two button navigation methods from Android Pie and previous have steadily been sidelined as Google fully focuses on gestures on all new devices moving forward. This actual update sees the navigation pill get thicker and wider, and Google seems to be mimicking the iOS navigation bar, which would make a lot of sense given that Apple has really helped lead gesture-based navigation on smartphones, at least since the introduction of the iPhone X back in 2017. This change here on beta 3 of Android 13 has absolutely no effect or change to the usability, but it will certainly help improve visibility for those that have made the switch from iOS or even come from another Android device that might have used an alternative navigation method and have a similar thicker navigation bar. 
Google's obsession with the media player in Android continues here with yet more changes in Beta 3. The previous tweaks that you may have seen in Beta 2 did feel somewhat out of place, but have been rectified here. So when using the skip forward or play pause buttons from the lock screen or notification shade media player, you might instantly notice that these are smaller and more compact than they were in beta 2. Will this change once again in beta 4 and beyond? Well, there's a chance that it could, meaning that it's impossible to totally rule out. That said, it wouldn't be an Android preview without plenty of attention on that media player. That said, these slightly smaller controls might be a little bit of frustration if you've got used to those larger glyphs on the previous beta 2 build. So that's most of the major changes, which isn't exactly a laundry list, but there are a few other adjustments to Android 13 or in Android 13 beta 3 that are noticeable, but won't really affect device usability when they are spotted. An example of this is the introduction of more pill shaped buttons within the settings menu sections. This will no doubt help visibility, which is also great, but actually offers no added functionality. It's also worth noting that the recent June Pixel feature drop added a flashlight alert to the at a glance widget. However, this hasn't been live for many running that latest stable version of Android 12. That said, if you are running Android 13 beta 3, the option does appear to be live for many people out there, but not everyone. And it can be enabled or disabled if it is available to you within the deeper at a glance settings. On top of that, sadly, the fast pair option has been removed from the connection preferences menu in this update too. Luckily though, this didn't do a great deal beyond letting you enable or disable local scanning for devices with the fast pair feature, so it shouldn't be that much of a major omission. So that's not exactly the biggest list of features added in Android 13 beta 3, but given that this is the platform stability version, we're not gonna see too many major changes, at least before the stable release later this year. That said though, when combined with the developer previews, it seems that there is a lot going on here that you wouldn't necessarily have realized. And if you do wanna check them out, then there is a playlist below that you can check out to see all of our hands-on coverage of Android 13, at least to this point. You'll also find the first of six wallpapers that I promised in the previous video down in the pinned comment with more coming over the next few days. So be sure to check back as we will be adding these over the next 24 to 48 hours. I do hope though that you've enjoyed this video and if you did leave a like and maybe if you love this then hit that thanks button. Until next time though, this is Damien with 9to5Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later. Our Android 13 beta coverage has been brought to you by Phoenix, the ultra lightweight case maker. Each case is completely branding free for a sleek look that doesn't detract or distract from the main event, your Pixel 6. On top of that, all cases ship in just one business day and are even backed by a 100% money back guarantee if you're not completely satisfied, which we're sure you will be. Head to the link in the description to learn more and get 20% off your own Phoenix case for your Android phone.